As I speak, early voting is going on around uh, many states in America. And we've got some states um, like Oregon where all the votes are cast uh, absentee by mail-in ballot. Uh, many states we've got a rising percentage and the question is what's, who's ahead? Who's coming out ahead right now? Um, we can get some gauge of that by looking at uh, the percentage of registered Democrats, the percentage of registered Republicans that are voting in each state. That's assuming that they stay true to their party, but they tend to over time. Uh, and what we see uh, in most states that have got early voting and party registration is that we're seeing a higher proportion of registered Republicans voting than registered Democrats. I mean, that effect is particularly pronounced in the big states of Florida and Pennsylvania. Florida's got a seriously contested Senate race with an independent candidate, the incumbent governor, running against Republican Marco Rubio and Democrat Kendrick Meek. Pennsylvania has got a Senate race between Republican Pat Toomey, former congressman and current Democratic congressman Joe Sestak. That Pennsylvania race has been tightening up lately, and the initial returns on the absentee voters indicate that uh, perhaps Mr. Toomey is getting an advantage of those who are casting their ballots right now. Uh, we have a few states where clearly Democrats have some advantage. One of them is Iowa. Uh, that's a state where Democrats have really out-organized Republicans over the last decade. And uh, we've seen that particularly in the spirited contest they had for the Iowa precinct caucuses, the presidential vote in 2000, 2004, and 2008. Um, the Democratic Party there has used interest in those contests to get a lot more, lots more people involved. And it appears that a larger percentage of Democrats are voting than Republicans. However, the uh, big race is there. Republican Senator Charles Grassley seems to be well ahead for uh, Senate. And the incumbent Democratic governor, Chuck Culver, seems to be in deep trouble against Republican former four-term Governor Terry Branstad. So the results on early voting, so far as we can tell, are roughly congruent with the other indicia that we've seen so far this year, which su suggests that those who are planning to vote Republican are much more enthusiastic about voting and more motivated to vote uh, than those who are planning to vote Democratic. There are some exceptions, uh, but that seems to be the rule around the country. What it suggests is that the Republicans uh, uh, again, will have a will form a higher percentage of the electorate than they did in the off-year elections of 2006 or the presidential elections of 2008, uh, where Republican voters tended to be very downcast, unenthusiastic, demoralized, and Democratic voters were highly enthused, energetic, and got out to vote. This year, it looks like it's the other way around.